The next step is to test our inverter. To test our inverter, we're going to need to use a, um, um, our power source and um, a Molex splitter cable. So, you know, here's the Molex splitter. Um, and what we're going to be doing is here's the male end. So this is going to plug into whatever our Molex power source is. I'm using an AC power source I showed you in the parts list. Uh, but you can use your uh, computer, whatever it is you need, but it needs to actually be powered on. Splits it to these two ends. So what I'm doing is cutting off these female ends. So I've already done that on a different one, uh, which I have uh, right here. So I have the male end that plugs in here. I actually removed one of the, um, one of the grounds that I didn't need, but you don't have to. Um, you can keep that in there. So, um, and what I did is, you know, I cut off the edge. So, you know, again, I'm missing two grounds just because um, I removed it for a different purpose. But the two blacks, you'll have four. And I have, um, you know, obviously the two red wires and also um, two yellow wires. So these are 12 volts, the yellow, 5 volts, the red, and the ground, uh, of course, is black. So, um, and this is what we're going to use to power both the display and the inverter. But let's go ahead and test the inverter. So uh, we need to grab our inverter wire. So now we're really left with three usable wires that we've kind of arranged. We have the gray LCD cable. We have the black LCD cable. And then we have the inverter cable. Okay, and take you through. Again, we have a red pin, a purple, an orange, a black, a blue, and a green. So what we're going to need is we're going to need at least uh, four alligator wires. Um, it's nice to be a different color just uh, so we can identify them, but they don't have to be. You don't have to use alligator wires. You can use any hookup wire you want. Um, obviously, alligator, alligator wire makes it very easy uh, to you know snap on and unsnap. So... Also, we're going to need um, at least one, um, one kilo ohm uh, resistor. I'd probably use at least uh, a half watt, but uh, these are one watt, but probably be fine with a quarter watt as well. Um, so I know my uh, pinout now calls for two, but I'm, I have not noticed any real significance in having the purple hooked up so far. Uh, with my other guides. So we'll see if uh, there's uh, any uh, need to have it hooked up for this one. So we'll hook that one up last. So, you know, if you look at the pinout, uh, which I have displayed it right here, you'll notice that um, we have uh, oranges for dimming, which I'm leaving floating because I do not have a, a dimmer hooked up. Um, I have the other uh, purple, which uh, I believe was the on off, but it looks like uh, if you turn it on in this manner, you almost kind of bypass that and may not need this at all. Um, so I'm not going to hook that up for now. We have the black, which is the ground. So let's take our inverter wire. Find the black. Take our black alligator. And clip it on. You know, and again, whether you use alligator wire or not, that's that's your choice. Um, now with the other end, it's going to go to the Molex. So again, I plug the male Molex into my power supply. So this is plugged in here, and I'm going to find an available black wire, and. I'm going to clip this to it. So then you can see this is uh, the black, and this goes to my power supply, and goes to the black of the inverter wire. So next we see we see the green, which is connected to five volts via one kilo ohm resistor. So let's take our one kilo ohm resistor. Find our green wire, take the edge, and you could use two alligator clips if you want, but you know, it's probably easier just to make one 
you know, maybe a second rotation just to be sure it's on there snugly. And that's all. So now what? Well, now let's take our green alligator wire. And we're going to connect it to the edge of our resistor. Just to make it easier, I'm probably just going to bend the resistor wire here just to give it a more of a target to kind of bite hold of. But that's it. Okay. And again, this is going to one of our 5 volt wires, which is going to be the red wire of the Molex. Okay, here's the Molex. And here's a red wire. Currently have a piece of electrical tape on it. Um, just to prevent it from interacting with anything else. And let's just put that on. Put that on. Shield it. Next, the blue goes to directly to 12 volts. 12 volts is going to be yellow. So let's get our yellow alligator wire. Hook it up to the blue inverter wire. And then hook this up to the 12 volt line, which is the yellow Molex. Again, power supply to Molex splitter to one of the 12 volt lines. Finally, we have red directly to a 5 volt line. So we take our red alligator wire. Putting it on the red, and I'm putting it on the Molex, the available red wire. Let's clamp that on. And now we should be able to have power. So once I turn on the power switch, it should go to the inverter. So, uh, of course, I have mine disconnected. So, to show you what's going to happen here, let me just do this a little bit closer. And this is the inverter. It's screwed in the back, but I've unscrewed it just to make it visible for you. And it's connected to the back lights. I'm taking the cable at the top of the neck. And I'm connecting it to the inverter cable here. Okay. So now the only thing we have to do is go ahead and supply power and we'll see if our backlights turn on. So um, I have again, this is my power source, uh, which is then plugged into an AC outlet. And again, you want to just see the specs on this. Um, I believe it's 2 amps. It's a uh, 12 volt at 2 amps and 5 volt at 2 amps. So let's turn it on and see. So I have a little switch here. Turn it on. And again, we see the backlights come on nice and bright. So switch off, on, off, on. So we know that the inverter works. Uh, we know that the backlights work. And we know that we have everything hooked up properly as of right now. So let's move on to the LCD.